Turn on tarantula lights. Sure, turning on two lights. This is the new and improved revamped Mark's Tarantula's room. Hello everybody, Mark's Tarantula's here. How's everybody doing today? So as you can see, the tarantula room looks rather messy at the moment. That's because I'm in the middle of totally revamping the tea room. It's going to have different colours on the walls. It's going to have a brand new racking system with new lights. We're going to crack on now by moving everything out of this room and setting it up for the paint. Obviously the trenches are going to probably be out of this room for just until all the fumes of the paint is gone. I'm going to get all the teas out now so the room's completely empty and then we're going to start with the paint. later so that's the room completely clear I'm not looking forward to moving and doing this again okay next stage is to get the room prepared for painting it's very echoey here as well hello <laughs> later And when I went to put my tanks in, it turned out the racking I originally got was too small to fit the uh, 30 by 30 tanks in. It only fit one, it's out by like an inch. Very annoying. So I had to get the bigger size, which is here. So we are going to crack on now and build the racking up. And then we're going to do the lighting. And then I will reveal to you the new tea room. Thank you. 
That's quick, wasn't it? So uh, all the rack is up, as you can see. And now it's time to install the lights. A lot of people have been asking what lights am I using? How am I gonna put them underneath the shelves? And I've been saying to them, just wait for the video, because I'm gonna show you right now. So let's crack on and get straight on with the lights. Okay, so this is everything that I'm gonna be using for the trench door lights. So these are the LED lights. These are 5050 RGB. And these are the waterproof LED lights. So I've also got some extension cable right there. And these clips right here. When you buy these clips, make sure you get the waterproof ones. I've done a mistake and uh, didn't, and it didn't fit the lights. The only difference here is because the lights got this silicon like film over them, these clamp down on the film. You don't need to take the, take the silicon off or anything like that. It just clamps down on the silicon, and that's it, away you go. Same with the uh, wires as well. You do not need to strip the wires, you just cut them, clamp, clip it shut, and away you go, really. That is it. I do advise to use some uh, pliers to snap it shut as well because they are quite hard and once they are shut it's very hard to get them open again which is why I need to get this done first time really without any mistakes. Now the really cool thing as, as well about the lights is I've got, I was going to run them all on one plant socket but I decided to run them two just in case it's too much for the uh, power adapter but this here is a Wi-Fi adapter which has been linked to my Google Home which enables me to activate them with the lights with my voice. So I've got two of them. I've linked them both up and both the lights come on at exactly the same time. is done and yeah I've got to say I'm pretty happy with it actually so what I've done with the wiring here so I've literally just tidied everything up got the wiring going down the side there I've even cable tied the uh, the racking, so it's all nice and flush together, no gaps. Same as this side as well. Yeah, 
all the lights are connected to this, which is the Google Home Hub, which is what enables me to voice activate them. So the next thing now is to get all the TVs in the room, and then we'll switch the lights on and see what it all looks like. Okay, Google. Turn on tarantula lights. Well, this is the new and improved, revamped Mark's Trenchers room. Finally, it's finally done. It's taken a long time to do, and I've definitely had uh, a few obstacles along the way. I've still got a little bit of a problem now, actually. Um, let's just turn that light on. That's better. I've still got a few, I've had a few problems along the way, but I've sorted them. But there is one problem that I need to get sorted out. And I think that's the wireless connectors. They keep going offline and it's making the lights go all weird. But I've ordered some more, some much better ones. So yeah, this is it guys. I'm very happy with it. Um, yeah, it looks really good. All the spiders, I love it. All the spiders are out. So yeah, nice and brilliant stuff. Um, but first of all, I want to show you a few things though. What, what I can do with these lights. I'm going to cut out the uh, Hey Google bit. Sorry, I'm not sure how to help with that. Because it's just like goes mental. Turn trench to the lights red. Turn all lights blue. Sure, changing two lights to blue. Um, you can do lots of different colours as well. You can even control it with this remote here. So I could have, I've actually got two remotes because I've got two wireless connectors. So it'd be a case of doing that. Uh, what else have we got? Or you can do that. <laughs> but not that I'm gonna be, be having a strobe light going on in, this, in, in here. But yeah, this is, this blue is good to look at the trenches at night. I mean, they're all out at the moment. And then we can turn them back to white again with the controllers, but I like to uh, ask the Google Home. Turn lights white. All right, changing two lights to white. So yeah, there you go, guys. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you again very, very soon. Okay, Google. Turn lights off. <laughs>